Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install Java Runtime Environment in Windows 11. All right, I actually got this request from another viewer, a comment on another video. So what I'm going to do is this does already have Java Runtime Environment on it, but the installation procedure should be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is to install Java, we're going to go ahead and open up a copy of... Uh, or your favorite browser. Uh, I use Google Chrome, but you can use Microsoft or Microsoft Edge or basically any browser. It's all going to be virtually the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to java.com. In fact, what I want here is I want a fairly precise video so you can see point to point to point. And I'll even show you a quick way to see if it's working. I should also note that if you have a problem, and if for whatever reason this won't install or you're having a problem with it, go to, uh, in fact, actually the uh, shortcut, let's go the shortcut way. Click on this, go to add or remove programs, and then scroll down to where it says Java. Click on the three dots there, and then click uninstall and walk it through the installation. Now, we don't necessarily have to do that if we're not having a problem. And what I'd recommend for most people is just to install over the version you have anyway. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and download Java. We're going to click the download Java button here. This is version 8, update 341. And this is essentially Java runtime environment 8U341. But this is needed for certain programs and stuff like that. It's not as commonly used nowadays, and it's being slowly phased out. But for uh, certain programs like Optifine and stuff like that, it is kind of a requirement. So we're going to give this about 50 seconds to download. And then once it's just about finished, I will check back in here and show you the rest of the installation. So still waiting for the install, but I wanted to show you in this case, you can see it's downloading here on the bottom left-hand side. We do want to make sure that is completely downloaded. Uh, if you downloaded it and you're not sure where it went, uh, just open up, uh, in fact, I'll do it this way. You can click on this folder here, go straight to downloads, and this is generally where it puts all of the uh, downloads that you do. In fact, you can see the previous versions of uh, Java and stuff like that that I put in here. So we are waiting for that to download. We've got another 35 seconds. All right, it looks like it's just about done. Now, once it's finished, I can actually click here to open up the download because we do have to click it. We do have to open it. We do have to run it. So I can click on that to open and run it, or I can actually go to the place where I downloaded, as I noted before, because it downloads all this. Most of these browsers download it straight to the same place, and we'll find it here on the downloads folder. So I'm going to double click on it to open it up. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. I do want to install it. Now, irregardless of whether we're installing it for the first time or whether we are installing it uh, again over the top of itself, we're going to not check this box here. We're going to leave that, and then we're just going to click install. If you already have it on there, it's just going to update it to the newest version. If you don't have it on there, it's going to install it and put the latest version or put this version into it so i'm going to left click install and i'm going to let java install itself now there are a couple of different ways you can test it there's actually an online website you can go to but since this is a kind of a response to a previous video that i came across or a comment uh, i'm going to show you where we ran into a problem on that one and that was uh installing optifine so back here, here, maybe what I'll do is I'll do both here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go in. We had a previous uh, download for uh, Optifine. In fact, that's the wrong downloads here. All right, downloads. All right, in this case, we have Optifine here, which was another download. This requires Java Runtime Environment, so I'm going to right-click on it, and then I'm going to hover, just kind of go over here to open with, and after installing it, it will add this entry in here to show that it's working, which is this one. So you'll left click on that and that will walk you through that installation. But for everyone else, uh, what I want to do is uh, let's see if they still have the, uh, the Java test uh, 
the job test uh, available to uh, make sure that it works. Okay, so bad news, the one Java tool I wanted to test wasn't there anymore to uh, show the Java was working. Uh, it probably does, has to do with restricted plugins and stuff like that. Uh, or restricted plugins on uh, internet browsers being implemented. Uh, that said, we were still able to verify it the other way. So I hope that helps for some of you who are going through and doing this and installing it. Uh, this installation had no problems with it i didn't come across any errors or anything and it does seem to be working okay uh same thing if you have any issues with it just leave it in the comments section below uh if you do have a problem or something like that be sure to list what the error messages and stuff like that and i will try to get back with the video as soon as possible all right guys have a good one